with the elephants. Well, obviously, there's not a lot of jobs about at the moment. So if you've seen Tiger King and you're not averse to the odd bit of poaching now and again, here's how to create your very own safari for less than a quid per attraction. Obviously, zebras aren't native to northwest London. So what I've done is just sprayed up some horses. If, like me, you don't have access to any stables and that, the best thing to do is create a decoy 1kg bag of cocaine using flour and trade with a posh girl. They love horses, just not quite as much as they love doing packet. One tip, use a more resistant paint than I did. That second shabby fucker at the end is bringing the whole zoo into disrepute. Now, if you want to create a kind of romantic winter scene for your zoo, you could do a lot worse than getting your hands on a few hedgehogs. So here's how to sort some on the cheek. Now, getting real hedgehogs involves going beyond zone five and getting your fingers cut. So here's what I did instead. Get yourself a fat block of basics cheese, head down to King's Cross, hide behind a post, attract some rats and then stuff the cunts in your bag. To get the spikes, just saunter up the Euston Road, picking up all the used needles you can find. Shouldn't take too long. Finally get some PVA glue. If it's not obvious what to do next, I'm not going to tell you. If you've never watched Blue Peter, that's frankly your loss, isn't it? Lastly, flamingos add a bit of hot pink joy to the place, like stumbling across a tribe of living dildos. They're expensive as fuck though, so if you can't be asked with all of that, watch this. My mate Dave does a roaring trading out of date meat, but he's pulled a blinder with this one. Basically, some farmer's chicken escaped and ended up falling into the Sizewell nuclear reactor, drastically altering their DNA composition. Nobody wants giant one-legged chickens, and apparently you could still taste the cancer if you made them into chicken nuggets. So just spray the fuckers hot pink and you've got yourself some flamingos. Don't touch them though, mate, unless you do want a six finger. So there you have it, how to create your very own Poundland Safari. If there's any other animals you want to know how to commandeer or fake in any way, let me know in the comments and I'll show you. If you like that, follow me on YouTube. Please. Yeah, that's how I like it.